Awesome. That's, that's the only word I can say for awesome. This is going to be in service, on time, on budget. It's by far the cleanest site I've ever worked on. Challenge accepted. Up and to the right. Sureco was a landmark project. Our first project with XL Energy as a customer. It's about 3,600 acres. Roll on average, probably around 8,000 panels a day. It is the largest in the Midwest, and it is among the largest in the nation. And we've got a lot of more renewables coming. It's a win-win for the environment and our customers. Coming into the job, I, I think everybody had a pretty good understanding that we needed to prioritize building this relationship with XL. They had to trust us that we're doing the right thing. We had to build the trust in them that what we're doing out here is the right thing. Flatter has been a good partner on this project. Any issues that have come to the table, we're able to sit down and talk through them. It takes a lot to become a high-performing team. The communication side of things is, is probably one of the biggest parts of it. One thing we talked about heavily on Sherco was the importance of lateral communication. Every time we have a milestone or a checkpoint, um, there's always a realignment between the core companies here or the core groups here within a certain trade keeping everybody accountable. Us trades have worked really well together, helping one another out. On this side, we've been going to the superintendent to ask, how can we better support you? I think that we all take into account that somebody else's job and what they're doing is gonna affect me later anyways, so we take care of each other. It's really created a strong bond and a solid culture at this project that has multiplied our success. You gotta give them 100% of you if you want them to give you 100%. You know, treat a person like you'd wanna be treated. We want to make sure that we're taking care of those host communities. They're asked to, to be an increased focus was certainly the seeding side of things. It was a goal to attain permanent, high quality pollinator habitat within the array. It will provide bird habitat, lower maintenance costs, improve water quality. It's been a pretty big conversation around town for the last handful of years of what we we're going to do with, with the transition from coal to clean energy. Latner stepping forward and, and the community working together with them, I think is a positive opportunity. We're not coming in here just to tear things up and leave and, and move on. We're trying to create something that's for the better of, of everybody here, better for the community, and really just kind of set that tone of, of what to expect when Blatter comes out to build a project. This is the actual representation of the energy transition. You are literally in one shot seeing what will be 710 megawatts of solar replacing coal. The biggest thing to be proud of is, is how much not only we've done as a project, but how much we're growing the, the future of the company and future projects. We're basically a family out here. I'm humbled working with the individuals that I get to on my team because they're just so good at what they do. We've created an environment here that people want to be a part of, uh, a culture that people want to be a part of. We've created a relationship that XL wants to be a part of. I think it's one of the best jobs going, you know, and that's because people pulled together. We did it safe and uh, the owners are happy. Sherco One went awesome and two's gonna follow it.